Hey, what's up, guys? This is Stefan, uh, Chaotic Burn. Um, just decided to do a small video. I'm on my way to go get my beautiful wife from work, and it's really cold. So my window's frosting up. Um, I don't know, kind of a rant video. Not really rant, more of a ramble. Um, I'll probably post another video later on this week. Um, if not later tonight, I don't know. But I just thought I'd, I'd get on here and talk to you guys. Um, it's been a while, and I apologize. I know that a lot of you guys enjoyed, like, uh, some of my knife reviews, and I know a lot of others enjoyed, like, the nature walks and stuff like that. Um, it's been kind of hectic and really busy, and I know that's kind of the excuse everyone uses. Um, but I just wanted you guys to know that I'm thinking about you. And I know I've lost some subscribers, but those of you who have stuck in, I really appreciate it. Um, I had a couple bigger channels that that had subscribed to me. Can't talk. Um, and I really appreciate that as a YouTuber, man, to like... Someone who just puts their, their thoughts out there and makes videos and puts time and energy into this. I mean... To have someone who's got, you know, a thousand, two thousand subscribers follow you is really, it means a lot to you. Um, and I don't know, you know, I haven't checked my subscriber list, but I do know I have lost a few, hopefully. Um, yeah, well, I appreciate those of you that have stuck around, let's put it that way. Um, and I do plan on doing a bit more. I've got a couple projects coming down the pipeline. Um, I've got some money set aside. I'm going to start buying some steel and some titanium. Um, I know I've never made a knife other than like the ones I made out of saw blades and you know scrap steel stuff like that. But you got to start somewhere. You got to learn. So I've got a piece of steel, um, two pieces of steel actually. I'm going to use one to make a frame lock. I'm going to use the other to make a blade. By no means will it be a high quality knife, but basically to just kind of teach me the um, or to kind of learn the, what goes into it, I'm going to be making it, it's going to be an experiment type thing, um, I'm going to do a video on that, and then once I kind of get it down, and once I figure out how to do it, like the mechanics of everything, I'm going to make a couple tutorials, because I can't find any, and I don't know how to do it, so I figure I might as well make them, and you guys can see my screw-ups, and see where I went wrong, um, and then I've had a couple people, ask me to do like uh, videos on my collection of knives honestly I'm kind of embarrassed too because I see videos out there and be like I don't even want to say names because I, I I mean basically I don't have the funds to spend on knives that other people do um, the most expensive knife I own is actually in my pocket right now and it's my baby um, That's my cold steel Spartan. Um, they're like 70 bucks. And actually, I didn't even pay for this one. I bought a Code 4 and found a guy on Reddit. That's another thing I'm going to talk about. Um, and he was trading a Spartan. He wanted something else, something of equal value. I had the Code 4. I didn't really care for it. So I said, hey, will you trade the Code 4 for the Spartan? He absolutely. Um, there were some issues with that. I'll talk about that more. <laughs> This is just kind of to empty my brain. I gotta get something out and like talk. And uh, so basically, I haven't done any videos on my knife collection because to me, it's not that good of a collection. I mean, yeah, I own probably 15 to 20 knives, which to my friends is a ton, but I know to other people is nothing. Um, but like I said, my most expensive one is like 70 bucks. And I know there's guys out there that have knives, or, you know, you got a Strider, you're looking at $400, you got a Chris Reeve, 400 bucks. I mean, a couple other knives I'd love to have. Um, some, of, some of Tough Knives, knives, Jeff's, um, some of his knives are, I, you know, that's money I don't even think I'll ever be able to afford. Would I love to own one? Yes. Will it ever happen? Probably not. Um... Uh, Gafco, he's got a couple on Gear Bastion. I might get some of the EDCs are pretty affordable, like 
150, 200 bucks. Um, that might be something I could afford. Something in that area, but you know, right now to drop $400 on a knife, $300 on a knife, even 100 bucks right now is ludicrous for me. I'm trying to save up and get stuff to make my own. Um, that's really a driving force right now. And I'd like to make knives. I'd like to get into it, but I don't have the tools. I don't have the experience, and you know, you got to start somewhere. So we're gonna do it. I'm gonna film everything if I can, and which also leads me to another thing. I'm gonna be getting another camera because the one I got's crap. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out, guys. And again, I appreciate all you guys for coming along. I will be doing a couple more videos, like camp videos. Um, I apologize. I've never gotten one out there. Mainly because I go camping with friends who are very hesitant about being on video. I know I did the uh, bushcraft breakfast a while back. And the only way I was able to get that done was my friends had not arrived yet. Um, when they found out that I was filming for YouTube. Or with the intent to put up on YouTube. They kind of freaked out and, and said they were going to leave. And as much as I love the YouTube community. I would much rather have close friends camping with me. And I hope you can understand. Um... Also, my dad kind of thinks it's a joke, so I'm not going to include him. Maybe down the road when he kind of sees that, you know, whatever. My parents are very weird when it comes to the internet, but that's because they're old and it's new. Um, but I love them dearly. And, I don't know, the more my dad fizzles with the internet, the more he may be on my channel. I don't know, I love him. Um, actually, his garage is the one I'm using for my shop. So, And I got my dog there, so you guys will see a lot of her, Dixie. She's a little mutt. She's gorgeous. And she's hilarious. She's clumsy as a horse. I mean, she just clops around and she's hilarious. But anyway, it's nice to be able to breathe and think and not have a ton on your mind. And I thank you guys for listening if you're still here. Um, if you are, great news because I was going to say this for the last of the video. As I make my knives, I'm going to start making batches of knives. Um, buy steel in bulk, make, you know, 10, 20 knives, and they're not going to be, these are going to be hand ground, I don't have the money to send them off anywhere right now, I don't know anyone that has a laser that I could use, or a water jet, or whatever, um, there's a couple of places here in town, because I live in the middle of Nebraska, and it's a very manufacturing centered um, community, and there's always, always jobs for laser cutting, and for like, that sort of work, um, so I know there's places here around town that do it. I just don't know if they would do it for me or if they do it specifically for their company. So that'll have to be something I find out. Um, but yeah, other than that, mostly the knives are going to be cut out by hand, by me. And um, when I do my knives, when I make a batch of them, I'm going to shut the truck off here. When I make a batch of them, at the end of each video showing you guys like the finished product and whatever, I'm going to be having a link to a document in Google where I'll be giving one away. I'll draw a name and give it away, and then I'll probably be taking another one and sending it off to a couple friends that I have that have really helped me out, really inspired me and encouraged me. Because um, when you're looking at something like what I'm doing, a career change of making knives, um... I'm doing construction right now, but I'm going to learn to start making knives. And once I get good at it, I'd like to quit construction and make knives full time. And my parents think it's a joke. My brother thinks it's a joke. My whole family thinks it's a joke. And it's not. It's something that I'm going to do. Um, so to have people that are out there encouraging me and telling me to keep doing it, it feels really good. And I appreciate that, guys. Um, to see some of you go to work for other knife makers and to become knife makers yourselves amazing so and as far as the bushcraft community goes i haven't forgot about you guys i still do the nature walks every now and then um that's mainly just i don't have time anymore but i will be getting some open free time on my work schedule it's just gonna be really cold um so we'll see what we can do <laughs> that's about it it's almost a 10 minute video the one that i do later tonight will probably be longer I plan on sitting down and having a drink and talking with you guys pretty frankly. Um, and I would like to put a video up every week from now on. And whether it be discussing a knife I own in depth or 
you know, talking about some aspect of what I'm getting into, asking questions, answering questions, something like that. I'd like to be making one a week. Um, so I appreciate, I really, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you guys staying with me and, uh, everything. I'm sorry this is just a video of me driving around, um, and rambling, but thank you so much. And thank you to all the people that I've met and encouraging me and helping me out as you have. I really, really appreciate it. And I don't know. I hope I can be there for you, for you guys sometime. Um, there's a couple people I know that are, that are branching out on their own. And as I find out more about that, I'll be letting you guys know. Um, my brother's looking at making knives. His wife does some really cool things with hats. I want to get that, um, we're going to visit them in a couple weeks. I'll explain more about that. And then, uh, yeah. So, that's about all I've got, guys. Again, thanks so much for staying with me. And thanks for for listening to me ramble. And I'm going to let you go because it's cold and I won't listen to NPR. Take it easy.